welcome to Curry TV. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Today I'm going to show you how to make Thai style fried rice. Thai pineapple with chicken fried rice. It's very easy and there's just a few ingredients that you have to keep an eye on very close but it's very simple but delicate food. Alright so just let's try this out. Let me show you all the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe. Alright so we got sauces. Oyster sauce, fish sauce, and soy sauce. Those are the three sauces that we need. We need spices such as garlic, ginger, green chilies, and black pepper. To garnish, to give that nice vibrance to our fried rice, we're going to be using different colors of bell peppers. That's according to your desire. If you want to, or you can substitute it with broccoli, cauliflower, any of those sort. I'm using green bell pepper, orange bell pepper, red bell pepper and carrots. I also have some spring onions very chopped up and the garlic, ginger and green chilies are fine chopped. So that's very important. We don't want any big bite sized pieces in our fried rice. Now surprise elements in this fried rice is a key spice blend is called curry powder. Curry plus you can buy in uh, Thai cuisine, Indian cuisine. There's different cuisines that use curry powder. That is just meaning that it's just a blend of spices that's all so you got to play with it in order to find out which are all the spices that you are going to be using in that curry or in that dish so when i went out and started shopping these are the two varieties that i was able to get my hands on you don't have to go to your store to get it it's very very clean ingredients it's just um what are they uh turmeric coriander rapeseed oil fenugreek cumin black pepper cinnamon fennel and red pepper if you have all these, you can make this. If the proportions, you gotta play with it. How spicy you want, how which stands out the most. So this is that nice vibrant yellow color to our fried rice. So I strongly suggest using one of these. These are the two brands that it was available. So these are the ones that close, comes closer to the fried rice when we order from a Thai cuisine. They, this is the closest spice blend that I can get my hands on. And then, to garnish this, to give that little bit of sweetness to our dish, we have palm sugar, raisins, and cashews. We're going to be also using three eggs along with our protein is chicken. You don't have to stick with chicken. You could use tofu, shrimp, beef, or any of those sort. No problem. Or you can make it as a vegetable itself. And then, like I said, this is a pineapple dish, so we definitely need fresh pineapple. So I have one cup of fresh pineapple ready. So all that along with, we need a day old rice. So this is jasmine rice, which I cooked yesterday, and it's already cooled down. And all I did was with a fork, just fluff it up a bit so that it comes really back to life right so that's what I need and then you need your choice of cooking oil which it could be avocado oil it could be canola oil it could be vegetable oil any of those so no problem so I got some vegetable oil here let's start cooking right all right so first what are we gonna do we are going to combine our sauces this is one tablespoon of oyster sauce one and a half tablespoons of fish sauce there is a vegetarian style fish sauce if you want you can try that and soy sauce this is two tablespoon i'm going to leave a small portion apart to pour into our chicken now let's combine this along with our palm sugar this is one tablespoon of palm sugar you can braid it or crush it in your mortar mix whatever i'm just going to let it sit in here it's going to dissolve really fast Okay, let that baby sit. In the meantime, we're going to pour that separated one tablespoon or half a teaspoon of uh, soy sauce along with some black pepper to our chicken and mix it well. Okay, that's our marinade. Okay, so if you have all your ingredients ready, it should be done fast. The only cooking time requires is for the chicken or your protein, whichever one that is. So first what we're going to do is into this one pan dish, what we're going to do is crack three eggs, beat it very well, add a little bit of seasoning, right? Wonderful. We're going to pour some oil into our pan. Best to use a wok for this purpose. Just a tablespoon or so. Okay. 
Beautiful. Now we're going to transfer this omelet to a different pan. Okay. Omelet done. Next, what we're going to do is pour some more oil into the same pan or wok. And we're going to add our chicken. So this is one pound of chicken breast that I have in this strip. Wait about a couple minutes or so and once you see that color change in your chicken that's when we go in with our ginger garlic and green chilies you see the color difference in the chicken because it's chicken breast it doesn't take a long time to cook so four to five minutes should be done so in the meantime what we're going to do is let that baby sit on the side of our wok and in the same juice we're going to add one tablespoon of ginger Three garlic cloves, fine chop. About three to four green chilies. This is according to your spice level. So if you like it more, add more or less. You're the master chef in this, so nobody's going to judge you based on that. If you like it spicy, make it spicy. If you like it less spicy, do so. Okay, we're going to cook in this. Okay. Our color of the chicken has changed. So once the color changed, now we are going to go in with our bell peppers. So I got quarter cup of green bell pepper, quarter cup of orange bell pepper, quarter cup of carrots, just to give some vibrance to our dish itself and quarter cup of red bell pepper. Let's give it a good mix. Now if you're using um, shrimp for your protein, then once you cook your shrimp, you might want to keep it to a side, like how am I doing for the omelet. Otherwise, it overcooks and becomes very rubbery in your fried rice. So this is, that's why I chose chicken. It's easier to manage. Yeah. We don't want to lose its crunch, so all our vegetables crunch. Right now, we're going to go in with our few, about quarter cup of raisins and quarter cup of cashews. They're just going to plumb up in our juice from the stock of chicken and just going to boost up all those flavors. I, when we order fried rice from here, they add cashews and raisins. So that's why I'm adding. We really enjoy that. This is somewhat like a biryani, close to a biryani for us, but it's not. It's Thai, thai style fried rice itself. In this process is where we're going to add our curry powder. This is one tablespoon of curry powder. This is where that yellowness come from, that turmeric, red chili powder, fenugreek, cumin, all those spices. You can definitely smell that cumin and that turmeric powder combination. Don't hesitate to try out your spices in home. So the, you're the best taste buds for your curries. So definitely play with your food. It doesn't have to be my own recipe. You can use, create your own. It might, you might get surprised. Okay, it's been about a couple minutes or so. Now I'm gonna go in with the rest of my black pepper, which was remaining. 
along with our sauces. Okay, I'm going to give it a good mix. Right now we're going to go with our rice. So use jasmine rice or any long grain rice that you like. I'm using four cups of worth of rice here. Good, good, good. This is where the fun begins. You get to mix with two of your utensils and just go in. Just lift up all those flavors from the bottom of the pan. We're gonna go in with our spring onions. That's according to your desire how many. I'm just using about a couple of sprigs here. And our one cup of fresh pineapple. Let's mix it up and then add our eggs. We're gonna go in with our omelet. Just give it a rough chip, chop, chop. This would definitely feed about four people. Very generous. If you want, you can extend it to five people, okay? Shh. Oh, it smells so good. Very, very tempting. Beautiful. That, my friend, is an easy piece. Thai step pineapple chicken fried rice. How easy is that? Very simple, right? Now the choice of vegetables you can add is endless. Baby corn, bamboo shoots, all those kind of stuff can go in. Cauliflower, broccoli, all that. Um, what else can you do? Choices are endless. Like I said, you can make this pure vegetarian or you can make this with a little bit of jazz in it too. So definitely try this version out and let me know the feedbacks, how it turned out for you, okay? So in case if you are having trouble with the spice blend, leave a comment down, I'll ping you. So the spice blends, you don't have to rely on the brands that I'm using here. I'm sure it's available online as well. So you can choose to buy that or play with your spices at home. So whichever one it is, try it out, let me know. Now if you want to know my spice blend, right? This is not my spice blend, but if you want to know my spice blend, you gotta keep watching. Korea TV and I will be showcasing my spices blend of this fried rice in the coming videos. All right. All right. So this is done, my friend. I'm going to turn off my stove and transfer this to a different serving tray and then I'll show you how to garnish it. There, my friend, is how we make Thai style pineapple chicken fried rice. Very easy, very, very simple, but very full of flavors. So definitely try this out. I hope you enjoyed spending time with us and I'll see you next time on Curry TV. Thank you. Bye-bye.